Air Defense Systems is a new site of the military of India we've never really explored here on FTD Facts. What sort of weapons is India's military carrying to ensure that their air and land space are protected? Well, let's take a look. Hey guys, my name is Leroy Kenton and I have 10 of the most powerful and lethal air defense system used by India. So we're going to get into that right now. First up though, I want to start with two systems under the Indian Ballistic Missile Defense Program. The first one at number 10 is called Advanced Air Defense. Now this is an anti-ballistic missile system capable of intercepting targets 30 kilometers above and can travel at a speed of Mach 4.5. The PAD, which stands for the Prithvi Air Defense and the AAD form the two tiers of India's ballistic missile defense system. Development is underway in India and India joins other nations with the capability of intercepting ballistic missiles. So that's pretty cool. Now the next one, as I mentioned, is the Prithvi Air Defense also called the Pradyumna. This is a two-stage anti-ballistic missile developed to intercept incoming ballistic missiles outside of the atmosphere. It can reach speeds of Mach 5 and it can successfully intercept ballistic missiles of 300 to 2,000 kilometers in range. LRTR is the target acquisition and fire control radar for the PAD missile and it's capable of tracking 200 targets at a range of 600 kilometers away. Next up at number 8 we have the SPIDER, that stands for the Surface to Ear Python and Derby. Now this is a low level quick reaction surface to air missile system capable of hitting aircraft, helicopters, as well as unmanned air vehicles, drones, and also precision guided missiles and other weapons. It provides air defense to the stationary assets and also for point and air defense for mobile forces. There are two variants of the SPIDER, there's a SPIDER SR which means short range and the spider mr which is medium range the spider mr can intercept targets at 35 kilometers away and the spider sr can do that at 15 kilometers away then we have the barrack Eight. This is a surface to air missile and it's capable of intercepting aircraft and anti ship missiles and cruise missiles. It was developed for use on Indian and Israeli ships, and the Barrack 8 has proven to be one of the best short medium range SAM systems in use. It comes in either a naval or land variant, and the range is from anywhere between half a kilometer to a hundred kilometers. An ER or an extended range variant is now being developed and it can hit targets of up to 150 kilometers away and the MRSAM version is also being developed and that will provide airspace protection. Next up is the ZSU-23-2 and the ZSU-23-4 Shilka. Now the first one is a twin cannon anti-air gun and the second is a light armored self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. The number after the 23, it denotes the number of gun barrels. So with four times three millimeter 2A7 auto cannons firing at 2000 rounds per minute each, Shilka is used for low level area defense. This is effective against low flying drones and helicopters and is used to provide cover for ground forces. It is however very ineffective as a modern short range air defense system, but the system can really be used to support units on the ground. Halfway at number 5 we have the SA-19 Grissin aka the 2K-22 Tanguska. The very famous Tanguska is really a mix of two different modes of air defense. It has a 9M311 for engaging targets from 10 kilometers and the dual 2A3M cannons for engaging targets at close range. The guns give out a combined rate of fire of 4,000 to 5,000 rounds per minute. Next I want to look at the SA Gecko Mod 1 or the 9K33 OSA AKM and that was the name in the Soviet Union. This is a short range low level SAM of Soviet origins. This missile is mounted on amphibious vehicles and it has its own radar and can act with or without the regimental surveillance radars. The range is between 15 kilometers and it has a maximum altitude of 12 kilometers. Now we have the SA-5 or the S-200. Now this is a medium to high level 
powerful, very long range SAM and it's used to take out high flying bombers. It has a range of 150 kilometers to 300 kilometers and a max speed of Mach 8. It's guided mid course by radio illumination and it has a terminal radar homing phase. It has a very high single shot kill probability of 0.85 and so of course it's very effective against long range bombers. Next up is the SA-3 or the S-125 and that's the Russian name. This is another Soviet era military tech. The minimum range is 3.5 kilometers and has a maximum range of 35 kilometers. The intercept altitudes are between 100 meters and 18 kilometers and it's in service with the Indian Air Force primarily just for guarding air bases just until the Akash systems are fully developed. And that's what we got next up, the Akash S. AM. This is a low to mid range level medium range surface to air missile used by the Indian Army and Air Force. It has a maximum speed of up to Mach 2.5 and it can travel as high as half a kilometer up to 18 kilometers. The Akash SAM is designed to shoot down drones, helicopters, fighter jets and missiles. It uses a ground based Rajendra radar that can track down targets from 80 kilometers away. And what makes it so lethal is that enemy aircraft would have to jam the high power Rajendra radar to avoid getting hit by the Akash SAM. So far the Akash SAM has a very high success rate. So those were some of India's most lethal air defense systems. Sound off down below in the comment section about anything that I mentioned in this episode. And for more videos like this, here's one that you will enjoy right beside my head right here. You can tap on that annotation or you can click on the link to it that I have below in the video description. Follow me on social media as well as hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can keep up with everything going on with FTD Facts. Until next time guys, stay awesome, stay educated, see you soon, peace.